Yo guys, what's going on? I am George and this is You Wanna Watch. Welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're in the rusty junk, this is the video for you today because we've got plenty of it. So without any further ado, I say we jump right into it. Let's go. Alrighty guys, well, I say without any further ado, we jump right into this. Um, what you see before you is a whole pile of horseshoes. Um, I know you guys are thinking, what the hell, George? We don't really care about horseshoes. Let me just tell you, these are all diamond caulk and horseshoe horseshoes. Hopefully you guys can read that up there. I'm quite excited to uh, get these. Um, I did a virtual pick with our friend Robin that owns Fashionably Twisted and she picked up a whole gamut of stuff for me and uh, I am just super excited to have all this. All these horseshoes are diamond caulk and horseshoe. So let's slide these normal ones out the way and we'll talk about these for a second. These are like a work horseshoe for a mule, something of that nature. The holes that you see in there are for the caulks. Um, caulks are either studs or cleats or anything of that nature to make it easier for the horse to get through nasty conditions, whether it be ice, mud, um, you know, stones, whatever. W whatever the horse is working in or the mule is working in, um, you would attach a caulk to these and it would give it better traction. So uh, I'm quite excited to have these. Quite excited. Quite, quite excited. Um, we'll talk more about the horseshoes in a second because I've got one over here that I really want you guys to see. But first, let me jump into this. This is a number 12 scraper plane. Um, I've seen them called floor scrapers. I've seen them called uh, planes. You can call them whatever you want to call them. Me, I'm just calling it awesome. It is, uh, it is rusty 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 so uh i just think this thing is sweaty cool and uh i'm pretty proud to own it so that's gonna be pretty cool next i got this hammerhead and this has got a pretty cool story to it um this came from a steam locomotive company in pennsylvania i don't know all of the details once i find out some more I'm probably going to do a restoration on this, put a new handle on there, get the mushrooming off, and uh, clean this thing up pretty good, and then I'll wind up giving you the whole story. Um, <laughs> I was excited to get this. Look at a profile on that. I don't even know what it would be used for, but, I mean, this thing is awesome. So, that's pretty cool. Next, I got a lump hammer. This is a stainless steel lump hammer. I do have a replacement handle for it, so there's no problems there. This is going to make a pretty good video, too. It's got two metal wedges in the top of it. This thing's pretty substantial. So, uh, at first, from the video that Robin was doing, I thought it was lead. But uh, once I got it and I actually felt it, I was like, yeah, this ain't lead. This is stainless. So, this is pretty cool. I like this a lot. Uh, next, I got a Robinson's little s wrench here offset this thing is completely locked up um, but I like it I like it a lot so I think this is pretty cool next I got a number three alligator wrench wrench from the Roebling company in Trenton New Jersey um, this thing is pretty cool too I love this stuff This right here, I'm, I'm not sure what it is. I want to call it a scribe of some sorts. Um, if you guys would know, shout it out in the comment section. But uh, look at that thing. It's quite unique. Kind of really looking for y'all's insight on this. So... Give it a shout in the comment section if you guys do know what it is. All right, so last but not least, here is one of the horseshoes that still have the caulks in them. Uh, I would consider these a cleat. 
you'd use this in snowy, muddy, you know, grassy, soupy conditions, something of that nature. Just gives the horse better traction. And this is the caulk tool that you use to insert them and take them out. So Mr. John Fix did a really good re restoration on a diamond caulk uh, version of this. This one happens to not be diamond caulk. This is just a uh, um, giant grip. So I'm not quite sure who made this. Um, I don't see diamond caulk and horseshoe written on here. So uh, I'll figure it out, let you guys know. I think I'm gonna do a video of cleaning both these up and then I'll give you a little demonstration of how these caulks work. So uh, that won't be till later, but. Alrighty guys, well we are all done with this one. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Great big huge shout out to Robin. Uh, without her, we wouldn't have had a flea market haul today, and I am truly grateful. We did this little virtual pick, and it worked out pretty good. I'm happy with the stuff that we got. I hope you guys are, too. Um, if you guys have any merch that you want to start coming out with, uh, you need your logo, put on shirts, hats, whatever, um, try and think about my friend Robin. Um, you can reach her at Fashionably Twisted on Facebook, Instagram, um, YouTube and Etsy so uh, instead of giving your money to one of them big box places that doesn't give two shits about your money um, the little mom and pop shops they are the ones that really depend on it so let's start thinking about them and uh, try and stay away from that corporate type shit alright so enough of my rant I hope you guys liked it I hope you enjoyed it like always stay safe be safe we'll see you next week with another and remember Robin likes rusty junk too Bye, guys.